everyone, it's Shannon. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, please hit that subscribe button so you can join me every single Monday, Wednesday, and Friday for new DIYs, tutorials, and new inspiration. And now today, I'm gonna be bringing you along with me as I create some new Buffalo Check fall decor using Dollar Tree supplies. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so let's get started with our first project. I'm actually gonna be using this thankful sign from Dollar Tree, and lucky for us, it's already got the beautiful buffalo check on the side for us. We're just gonna work on the top part here. So what I'm gonna do is use my white chalk paint, give this three coats of paint, make sure I cover all of that up really well. And then I have a free printable for you. This is the second one that I've done this season. I'll link down below the other one that I, um, used in a previous project so you can go and download those they are completely free use them how you wish and they will come printed just like this regular computer paper and then what we're going to do is mod podge this this way onto the top and once that's dry we're going to add a little bit of embellishment to the top All right, so now that this is dry, I'm going to lay my paper over the top here, and you can kind of see the border of the sign through the paper. So I just wanna make sure I get this pretty good and centered on the sign where I want it. You can kind of hold it up to the light too to kind of help get it into the correct position. And when you have it there, you just flip this on top of it, and then we're gonna draw the outline, the border, so we know where to cut the paper at. All right, and now we are just going to Mod Podge on the paper onto our sign. So you put Mod Podge down first, use a foam paintbrush, kind of smear it out, get a nice flat, even layer. We're gonna lay our paper on top of that and then add some more Mod Podge on top and that will seal our paper onto the sign. And now I'm just gonna tie a knot. I have some uh, burlap ribbon from the Dollar Tree and some buffalo check ribbon from Hobby Lobby, just so I can bring some more of this buffalo check to the front here. And I'm just gonna tie a knot around and cut it down to size. And now for this project, we're gonna be using one of these faux wood chargers from Dollar Tree. And I wanna give the outside rim here a buffalo check. And to do that, we're gonna to have to create it ourselves using some painter's tape, white and black chalk paint. So the first thing I need to do is paint this outside ring 
the entire thing white. I'm gonna give it two or three coats to make sure it's completely covered. All right, and now I'm going to use my painter's tape. This is about an inch wide, and I'm gonna give this vertical stripes. All right, so here are all my vertical stripes. As you saw, I used this piece of tape here as sort of a placeholder. That way, my stripes were all evenly spaced. We're gonna set this aside. We're just gonna use that again here shortly. And now I'm going to add a two coats. Actually, I'll probably just do one coat just so it's lighter of my gray chalk paint by Waverly. This is in the color Elephant. And if you don't have gray, of course, you could mix your black and white together to get a gray. I'm going to make sure these are all pressed down so I have a nice um, crisp line whenever I go to paint, just using my foam paintbrush. All right, so what I ended up doing is whenever you remove the tape from your first layer, you just turn everything and repeat the process. So now you're gonna have uh, cross lines and that's where I'm at now. So once I added those cross lines, I painted it, let it dry. This layer we're gonna leave on here. We're not gonna take this tape off. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go back and add our original tape lines. So the ones we added the first go around, we're gonna put those back. And the way we're gonna do that is you can see there are darker um, gray lines. Those are the ones we don't wanna cover up. We wanna put these back in where it's light, where we basically masked off the first time. And then we're going to paint the next layer black. And here is the beautiful result. I always just love taking the tape off to reveal the buffalo check. It always turns out super cute. I'm really glad I only did one coat of gray. I did three coats of the white, one coat on each layer of the gray, and then one coat of the black. And I really am glad I did that because you it blends really well with the middle here. So I don't know, just super happy with the way that it turned out. Usually I do um, like solid coats, but this is sort of more of a rustic look by just doing one coat. And now I want to add this Dollar Tree little metal piece to the middle, but it definitely sort of blends in. So what I'm gonna do is paint this white. 
And then I finally got some foam mounting tape. So that's what I'm gonna put on the back here to raise it up a little bit and it'll be done. And now our last project, I have one of these Buffalo Check tote bags from the Dollar Tree. I actually used the other side on another project, so I'll link that down below if you wanna check that out. I also have a pumpkin sign. We're gonna be using the back side, of course. And then also this pack of rulers. So there's two in here. The first thing I'm gonna do is remove the colored plastic off the front. They just peel right off, they're just glued on. And then I need to fill these holes because usually what I do is I take my miter saw and I cut that off um, so we don't have the hole. However, I need this whole length of the ruler. So what I'm gonna do is take my spackle here. I'm going to fill the holes in, let it dry, sand it down so you don't see those holes. I'm also gonna do the same thing with the holes on the pumpkin. So these, this little jute string comes out and then there'll be little holes left. So I'm gonna go ahead, since I have the spackle out, spackle over that. And then the other thing I wanna do is use my matte clear spray paint to spray this bag. As you can see, it's really, really shiny and I don't really want it to look plasticky. So I'm gonna take my matte spray and see if that tones that down at all. All right, so the spackle is pretty much dry now. It goes on purple and then it dries white. So I'm gonna use some sandpaper, sand it down smooth. The pumpkin I'm going to paint completely white with my white chalk paint. And these guys here are going to get a faux wood stain finish, which I will show you in just a minute. All right, so I just gave this one coat of paint. I did it pretty thickly though, so you couldn't really see through it, but I still want it to look a little bit rustic, so you have some distressing going on there. And I wanna give it a chippy look, so I'm gonna use my black chalk paint and go around the edges and give it a little, um, a few little spots here and there of the black. Kinda give it that metal enamel look. And I'm going to paint this Harvest from the set. So I had Thankful, Harvest, and then there's also a Welcome in the set from Dollar Tree. I am going to go ahead and paint this one with my black chalk paint, and then it'll look nice against the white background. And 
and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna use my foam mounting tape on the back of the harvest to apply it to the pumpkin. This you can get at Dollar Tree as well. All right, so here's our pumpkin ready to go on the front of our hanging sign, and that's what we're gonna work on now. So my rulers are ready to go, ready to be painted. I'm going to be using this color Traditional Burnt Umber by Americana. And what you do is you paint it on and then you wipe it off with a, a wet paper towel and that will keep your um, rulers from getting sort of a solid coat of paint. It'll give it more of a wood stain look so you can see through and still see the uh, wood grain from the ruler. So we're gonna go ahead and work on that and then we'll start working on the buffalo check background. All right, so I brought in the bag. I did two coats of this matte finish and it definitely helped. So I brought another one over so you could see the difference between the before and the after. I definitely think that was a huge help to make it look more fabric-y versus more plasticky. And here's all of our pieces. What I'm gonna do is put this on the top here and measure a straight line down to where I need to cut it. So once I get this cut down to size, I'm going to use my hot glue to glue the sticks on the top and the bottom and to add the pumpkin to the middle there, just like that. And then I'm gonna use some jute on the back, hot glue to the back to make a hanger. Thank you guys so much for joining me for today's tutorial. If you love Buffalo Check as much as I do, please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I have more DIY tutorials in the link next to me. Don't forget to follow me over on my Facebook and Instagram pages. I'll link those down below. Thanks so much again and I'll see you next time. Bye everyone.